day of the 30 days of 30 paintings and yesterday I painted a um, abstract landscape I was wanting to go more abstract with my scenery and I'm really happy with the results the the only thing is as I'm looking at it today I felt like it wasn't bright enough for me I <clears throat> even though I wanted it to be a little bit more subtle or more subdued is one of the comments I made in my last video or moody it, it almost got too um, for me uh, some people absolutely that that they've seen it they say it's great they love it and for me I, I just need more color so I'm gonna try and pump up the color a little bit today and keep going in this uh, abstract landscape direction I, I really like the looks and I feel like I'm being I'm honoring my own style and my personality so that's what I'm running with so stay tuned okay bye thanks for being here okay I am ready for my challenge and um, what were what my original intent or my idea is I wanted to create a landscape going a little bit more abstract um, we'll see all of a sudden i <laughs> i had this urge to somehow work work with a rabbit somehow in here or bunnies or but we'll see i'm, I'm not sure why that is and sometimes i'll um get all of a sudden just right at the moment when i have my mind made up for something else it pops in my head and i usually go with those ideas um and uh not sure about that though. Maybe I'll somehow sneak in a shape that reminds me of one instead. I don't know. I think it's funny that I have these moments of, I don't know where that comes from. I'm not sure why that's happening. <laughs> but sometimes those, those little things that go in my ear that kind of beckon my attention I usually run with because they're usually the right thing so we'll see I'm gonna go ahead and start and see where this takes us here so right now I'm just applying a warm sky and I still want this to be pretty abstract so I'm really going to try to honor that um, original intent we'll see so I applied the sky. I'm happy with that. I'm kind of, again, keeping it pretty simple today. And um, putting in a horizon line that I'm, I'm liking here. <clears throat> and um, I'm going to go ahead and just put a little bit of a, I don't know what I'd call, maybe a, a mist or a fog layer what I would envision it to look like. And again, I don't really have any particular idea right now in mind. All I know is that I'm just going with my intuition of what I want. I do want this to go brighter this time. Um, my last one I really enjoyed. For me personally, I, I love color, so it's really hard for me to not wanna apply color on a lot of my pieces. Um, I know that, you know, there's every type of personality out there, but I have to go with kind of what I'm envisioning right now, and that's what I, what I see is going a little bit brighter this time, so we'll see. I might change my mind and go right back, but right now that's what I'm doing. Not even sure what kind of landscape this is, it almost, I'm not sure. Kind of like it. I am. Um woke up this morning and that was just something I, I envisioned was I I thought to myself I really wanted to continue on with animals but um, I know that a part of me also wants to 
do, I don't know why, but all of a sudden I wanted to do these abstracts that just give the feeling of nature. So I do want to keep doing that. But, you know, a little bunny here and there probably wouldn't hurt. So we'll see. So I like to work up layers, and as you're seeing, I'm kind of kind of drawing the eye around and kind of working in some layers. And again, I don't even know what kind of landscape this really is. It's a, a Nicole landscape, I guess. <laughs> Something that's my, in my brainchild here, I don't know. Um, but again, and it's kind of maybe, I'm not getting loose enough, it might be a little too realistic, so I, eventually, I don't want it to get muddy, so again, I'm kind of working with shapes right now um, because I'm doing the wet on wet again for this challenge I have to be a little careful about that so we will see what happens I'm, I'm applying these white areas I'm, um, just again as a lead I just kind of feel like maybe I want there to be some kind of a an eye a lead going back I kind of like this trail that I have going on here I'm not sure again why that's in there but I like it so a lot of times with art I've had people ask me well, how does how do you just come up with that? You know what made, what makes you come with that? And I don't know. I don't know the answer to that. A lot of times I, I question it myself. And the only thing I can think of is that I really listen to my my inner self. I just kind of listen to um, what speaks to me. And I also find that um, a lot of times I find that those are my best pieces and. And the ideas, I don't know, um, coming up with ideas is not hard for me. I'm not sure as a child if it's because I was, I was pretty creative then and that might have something to do with it. I'm not, I'm not sure. I, you know, I, I used to pretend and do acting and, you know, your typical things that kids do, but I, I truly don't know if that's what it is or what, but I don't have a hard time. I never have a hard time coming up with things. Um, they just... They just come to me, um, and I, I wish I did have an answer because I would love to be able to to help people that are struggling with that. Because it's it, that, that I would imagine that would be pretty struggling. Um, so I, I, I like this. It's interesting. I you know it wasn't intentional, but it almost looks like there's like this ledge, and then there's kind of a drop off here, and it goes back, and almost has a um, uh, I don't know, like a, a desert, not a desert because there's grass. I, I don't know what this is. It's very dreamy kind of. So I, I like this. I'm going to keep going. And if something works for me, then I, I keep going and plug along. So I have the shapes I'm really happy with, um, and so what I try to do is kind of work with what's there and not um, not not get too too much in there. So I'm happy with this. I'm gonna put some reds in here. Just I'll tone it down. It's a little bright right now, but um, I want to get some red in here just to remind me. So now I'm ready. What I'm going to do in this next stage is I'm gonna play with my paint and. A lot of you know I like to use a bigger brush and I kind of push paint around and manipulate it to how I like it. So that's my next stage here. Um, I'm not sure if I have enough bright colors on here yet and I actually manipulated it pretty well to the get-go. So there's not a lot of this that I'm going to be doing. Normally I do a lot more of it, but I actually really like what I've done already. So I don't want to over call it, we call it overplaying. I don't want to overplay what I've done. So I'm just going to do a few little things here and there 
and uh, be done. And uh, be happy with this. <clears throat> Yeah, it almost is interesting. This almost looks like a water area and then it kind of drops off. Kind of almost like a waterfall or something. So who knows where that's coming from, but it's kind of cool. I'm gonna leave that. I think. <laughs> I think I'm gonna leave it. We'll see. Right now I'm leaving it. And that's the other thing too, is if you allow yourself to be okay with changing because sometimes you'll be in the middle of a pain and want to change it and that's fine that there's nothing wrong with doing that just because you set out on one particular thing doesn't mean you have to go there you know um we all have you know we change we, we have the right to change our minds so again using a bigger brush allows me to be a little looser less control and um, and that, that's what I, I, I like having my um, my work to be a little looser and not so controlled so that's what I'm doing right now there's not I don't really want to do much more um, I'm gonna come in here and I need to get some bolder areas and and stuff but in the meantime I'm gonna start scratching in some things and um, and I'll go back over them and erase some of them, or not erase, but paint over some of them. But I just want to get some texture in here right now, so that's what I'm doing. And just playing with the paint. Hope you guys like this I'm gonna go ahead and probably turn off the video just because I know that um, it's hard it's interesting I, I didn't realize I'm I not I don't do a lot of videos I it's new to me so for me this is a little bit of a challenge in itself um, and I, I'm doing it because I want you to be a part of my process and perhaps even learn from this yourself but so um, but what I'm finding is it's very time consuming and that's probably why I've never done it. So, um, so my next stage, I'm going to go ahead and, and work on this for a while and I'll show you the finished product, but overall you get the idea of what I'm doing and I hope you like it. Um, and I'll have this on my, um, post and on my website and on my blog. And I, I hope that, I hope that I, keep it somewhat to this degree but I think I'm gonna go in and add some more brights in my in my next stage so when you see it on the on the post you'll probably see a little more color all right have a great day you guys take care okay just got done with the 17th painting is that right oh my goodness it is 17 so um, takeaways for today was I just couldn't get that rabbit on my head and had to throw him in there um, I don't know if that was a, a good thing or not, but I, I like it. Um, the other is just go with your heart, as always. And the other would be I, I started to overwork it. I started to take away some of the brush marks, and those brush marks I was looking at as negative or imperfections, and they were actually the beautiful parts. So I had to put those back in. So so takeaways would be uh, don't overwork your work and, and just embrace the imperfections and uh, I feel that way in life too. So thanks so much for being here. Have a blessed day. Bye.